and then and then I will show my presentation because uh yes I tried to present a lot of topic in you know just in a short time so I there are a lot of the topics included in here but uh I will share my presentation also later so you don't need to worry about like a specific details but I'm going to I hope that you see my presentation right okay so then I'll I will start with the uh, By the show. Okay. So um so as you see the today's topic is decoding digital therapeutics, usually called TTX innovations for new product development. So what this term decoding it's on rare if I show this decoding terminology to the healthcare people. What is decoding? Actually, this is term used in software. So, so you see in this part one, I'm going to give you very brief overview of this. What is mean by the digital therapeutics (DTX) and then their players, market, and industry ecosystem all over like in you know, a like a few pages. So um DTX is usually is a part of a digital has care. So digital has care is some of you are from in the has care sector know about what is mean by has care. If you are in a digital like AI, other like a data and IoT, whatever you you were in in digital you, you understand, so their combination. So uh, this DTX is a special field of the this digital healthcare. So digital healthcare include all as of aspect of the healthcare we can think of. So imagine that you have some health problem or you can think of but you want to avoid some health problem. So what you do, for example, you have a, like a screening you you want to screen whatever that whatever be the problem or something like that so you go to hospital and uh, make an appointment so so you don't know whether you have some disease or not but you want to know about your status of your health so you go to hospital and then ask about their like a test right so ask a test and then you screen that whether you're healthy or not, you have any specific health problem, right? And then after that trigger, you found some disease. For example, you have a diabetes, high pressure, whatever that doctor diagnosed that you have some disease, right? This is a diagnosis. Diagnosis means that uh, you have some, some health problem. And then and then what happened is uh, you started treatment, right? So you you like uh, whether it's uh, like a special treatment or whatever using the like uh, medicine is kind of like you want to cure your disease. And then after like treated, uh, you want prevent is it even happen again, right? So prevention or monitoring your health state, right? This is uh, it's kind of like a weak group, the healthcare value chain, whatever we talk, right? So uh, this during this process, actually, the digital therapeutics is DTX is is concerned about this treatment part, but you can see that the treatment part is not standalone. They are all integrated with the diagnosis and monitoring. So so even with that, particularly for example, there is a, a like industry community like a digital therapeutic alliance. They define, they stated DTX deliver medical interventions directly to patient using evidence-based clinical evaluation. So you can see that this evidence-based clinical evaluation means that you, we can think of it as FDA, 
right? So regulator. And then you, you need to test through your clinical test. It should be proved is uh, some kind of like uh, some certification that you can go to be part of your healthcare system, right? So uh, in that case, that digital therapeutics is uh, one way to provide this treatment, but this is kind of like a different, like a traditional, like a like a pharmaceutical type, like a, like a chemical drugs. It's not. It is based on mostly software, and then it'll deliver you through this kind of like a digital technology. So, um, why we concern about DTX? DTX is a kind of the digital health, but the difference is that they need to be proved by the some way, clinical test and FDA appliance. And then from the, from the like a community for doctors or healthcare provider insurance and even the patient about their outcome, efficiency of the outcome, effectiveness of the outcome, right? So it's somewhat different, right? So. For example, you are familiar with, like me, I've been in, in 30 years in high-tech area, especially you know, I have a lot of experience like wearable device for healthcare. And you can imagine that kind of wellness kind of thing. They don't require this kind of proof, outcome, effect, whatever, right? So it's somewhat more rigorous way to actually to deliver your your way of the solution to the to the end users through the some screening of this kind of some process. So um so key aspect of the DTX is uh, compared to like for example chemical drugs, right? Because you have you go to the pharmacy, CBS, whatever you look at the your you whatever you have headache or whatever you have some indigestion, then you you look at it the in the box of the your like a drug, there is uh, some about the side effect, right? That they want about the side effect or something like that. So, so if there's a chemical, right? But they 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 integrate into your human body's chemically. So some way they don't know about what is the side effect. We tested it, but there can be some happen in in a like un, unexpected way. But in a digital way to deliver this therapeutics is a much lower risk, right? So. So this is a somewhat different, right? And then and then through a high efficacy and effectiveness, and and then it can be scalable, and then cost effective, clinical grade interventions, regulatory oversight and validation, and then broader spectrum of care for health condition. This is a key aspect of the DTX. So, so I particularly I'm interested in why this. I'm even I I was work before using like a blockchain for the like healthcare data management and I using the like AI for like diagnosed cancer or whatever I, I work for before, even in the high tech area without knowing about this detail about the palm or like a medicine area. But this area is more like directly related to the outcomes of the patient has condition. That's attract me that Oh, this is a little bit much deeper level understanding, deeper level insight needed. So it attracted me to come to this this area, and then I I explore. I just started last maybe um half of the last year, so actually around June or July, I came to know about this field by some reason, and then and then I I found that this is fascinating field, and then from that time I started to. to 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 understand this area, so this is the one one first output from my uh around more than half years explore of this field. Okay, so um, and then DTX is has a lot of the challenges. It should be considered a lot of factors. Particularly, I said this is late like proof evidence proved. In the clinical trial, so regulate regulation is very, and then and then every every country has a different regulation body. For example, I was in high tech. For example, the one of the like uh, regulation is requires like for example, like uh, cryptocurrencies or the finance area. Then 
and then we have a you know but the, we, we, whenever you have a, like a want issue security and then there is a security regulation bodies all over the world and you, you need to comply this is the same situation in healthcare area fda is a regular body and other country has their own regulation so so it's comply with the international ways so this is one thing we need to consider and then evidence should be generated and critical validation. So that means it's, it requires a lot of the, like a stakeholders participate and, and then there are many proof and scientific ways to prove this one. So this is complicated area. And then and then and then I, I found the healthcare industry is different from the high tech industry. Usually I, I was in like for example, I, I, I was in uh mostly electronic computer science, computer engineering area like uh, like uh, or the software area and and then other usually that the the ecosystem consumers the users directly pay for the for the product service the provider but this area is different is for example that the user is usually patient but the payer is uh, not usually the patient end users usually pay by the insurance or the employers and pay so so here is a somewhat like a hierarchy of the, this, this ecosystem, the users and payers is a different, right? So it's, it's a little bit complicated, but this is one example that there may be a similarity. Maybe the similarity is like uh, advertisement, uh, the, like for example, the, the, like, uh, the YouTube is business model is that they don't charge to you to the users but that they pay by the advertiser something like that somebody pay right so i i found a very similarity but in this case as care provider especially the insurance provider is uh is one of the key player so through so this insurance in reimbursement is very important and then provide economic bio viability if you if you it should be approved by the like uh, insurance company to you to provide you reimbursement right for example that uh, you, ha you have a alzheimer disease and then the alzheimer disease has a uh, uh, has a uh, actually the has a difficulty in the completely cure right so there are no drugs available actually the completely cure like a treat but usually that they only deter your like deterioration of your cognitive capabilities so the recently there are several like FDA approved drugs, but uh, the the problem is very high price. I, I found it recently that if you want to uh, treat the kind of the new new drugs, actually they require more than ten thousand dollars for for a few time of the this drug. So it's very expensive. So so you should be prove economic viability. And then inter the integration and other things that you can you can think about you should be and particularly this this kind of like a collaboration requires multi stake collaboration. I think that this is very similar to the what I found is when I I work for for over two or three years I I work in the sustainability area. This is very similar situation situation in the, the stakeholders are very different different view and different goal in sustainability area. I found that this is the same thing, multi, multi stakeholders and multi disciplinary collaboration require this field. Okay, so um, this is one thing I, I found that, um, so how's going on, right? I'm, I'm really interesting. I, I, I choose that this, this DTX is very attractive to me. So I, I want to do concentration on this field and I, I wanna, I wanna, let me in and I wanna give my contribution some way. And I, I try to understand really what, what is going actually, I'm interested in who actually to actually make money in this field. And then I, I found that, um, I, I found only few cases actually uh, that successful up to now. And then I found that there is kind of failure already have failure cases in DTX startups. I, I found that who is and peer therapeutics is one of the pioneer in this field, and then and then so um it it appear in many times in media, and then they they approve approved by the FDA for several several 
like uh, like uh, uh, this therapeutics uh, product, and then and then go into the market, and then a lot of the like uh, collaboration with the pharma company, but finally bank bankrupt. <laughs> so, uh, and then another thing is uh, like Alzheimer's disease. Uh, Tara Scientific is one of the pioneer in the Alzheimer's disease treatment. And then they also even pay, fail to the go to the market. So, so um, so I I, I try to understand that uh what's going on. So I think that there are many different kind of the challenges is in DTX business success. So this business area is very very complicated, and then so to me it's very attractive because a deep level of understanding of my my experience thirty years experience in other field might be fit into this complicated business area. And then so the challenge is reimbursement regular pathway that I mentioned in market penetration option is uh, very hard. And then particularly the um capital and resource allocation. So um this is one big issue right is uh, for the startups money dry up even if you have a uh, like financing through like a 3J or 3B or whatever. It can be like a dryer because uh, the reason is that the 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 pathway is kind of like uh, the way to go to the go to the market strategy is somewhat different. But the the reason is that usually if you're in a high tech area, that that then you will see that you have like a startup the business and then you have a proof of concept and then MBT. Uh, so you have like a uh, most valuable aspect, you prove it, and then you have like a prototype and go to market strategy, something like that. But here you have another P, very long theory of the like proof of the, your evidence, like FDA clearance, clinical tests, or something like that. So additional step required, additional resources required, I found. So your fundraising strategy should be different. That's one I, I found. So uh, strategy solution for the DTX business success that I, I, I just suggest this one, maybe uh, this is too broad, but maybe fine tuning required. But the the one thing is uh, like a Palmer partnership is already done and many, many startups, but also like a diversification of commercial origin strategy is kind of like whether it's a B2B or usually the, the they call prescription DTX means that uh, you require prescription from the your like a uh, doctor, and then you need to communicate with uh, like for example B two B time, or but you you can you can uh you can like expand your business model B two B to C model like uh, you you talk with like uh, business people like employer and then to for the employees parents that they provide the money right or B two C directly consumer can pay or other. Right, so you need some diversification strategy required, and then deal with that. If you have a cl uh, clinical test, whatever the FD clears, it does not mean that you have a deal with the evidence. You have actually you will you will test in the actual market as proof, right? So and then you can also think about data utilization model. Think about it, and then like uh, patent centric design accessibility. So product development is very important in this area. Okay, so market. So uh, this is uh, just to look at some some market like a research companies report. I just found this one that this number, <laughs> thirty two billion by year two thousand thirty. I I think that the, this is very niche compared with the compared with the the high multi trillion dollars like uh, Husky industry, even even like a consumer electronics market. Is a multi billion dollar, multi billion, multi trillion dollar in the telecommunication. I I was in is a multi trillion dollars, and then and then I think this is compared to the importance of this this area. Can is kind of like a, a like in what I'm thinking is intangible value, like a not not directly like a like a calculable by the money, but actually the this is a, a contribute to human well being. And then you know that the, the human like age expectancy is increased. For example, that the the you can you can even through like eighty or ninety or the one hundred years that you can you can live longer, right? So it's has skill is more important than in any other feature of the human history. But 
this is small number, just just to think about, but I, I think about that this might be changed. This is how we can think about this valuable area to be to go to market and get attention from the from the from recognize their value. So this is what I'm I'm really care about that whether I can have some contribution to this area. And then prayers, there are hundreds, for example, the digital uh this is DTX Alliance member, I, I count is around 100, and then I found for myself through the web search of there are around 100. So I, and then even power, Palma company, medical device company may be interested in. So it's growing field as definitely I can see. And then and then particularly that I I my approach is to to understand this this specific uh, digital healthcare area through the patent. Usually, uh, this is uh, my expert field. I'm a patent attorney in the United States. Uh, so, so I have uh, intensive experience to uh, relate to patent matters. And then whenever uh, I, I, I work on the all kind of emerging technologies in high tech area, semi from semiconductor, telecommunication, wireless communication, to the, to the like uh, big data, IoT, AI, blockchain, all kind of like emerging techniques I involve. And then whenever that uh my my tool is to look at the pattern and then and then find out what the state of art and what is the like a roadmap, what what is going on. So I I understand how to utilize this pattern, not just this legal document actually you can use using the like sue other competitors uh, imprinting your product or not. But it can be utilizing in the in the technical way, in the business way, in other way that you can how you can look at your uh, utilizing these resources. So I look at it, and particularly this field is uh, just burgeoning. It's uh, it's kind of like starting. So not many uh, like a pattern specific for this kind of DTX definition within the DTX definition. So I, I really have an intensive research. And look at it, and then finally, over maybe over more than six months of the my my intense search and review and analysis, I found about the two hundred patterns directly related to this field, and then I started digging into that to get the inside what kind of information I can have. So this is one that uh, uh as of the like uh year two thousand. Part of the at the end of the year 2023, I look at the all the publish and the issue of patents related to this field. And then I categorize and I I I try to find the who's who, who owns the patents and the, what kind of the like uh, the 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 health conditions they target. And then uh, so you can understand that uh, which area actually the think of what is more important than others. And so um mental health care problem is the, the top and then followed by the cognitive health like Alzheimer and the chronic health conditions and neurological and other, other things that I, I I found that they cover the all aspect of the this health condition they can TTS can contribute. And then this is one I actually I I I'm curious about so I, I wanna make a one page summary that I I found that that who owes in which area? So I, I just made mental as quality health. So, so this is one landscape that I, I generate. And then I, I, I was curious about what the, the the product available and in which area and then who owns the lead patterns. So I, I made it. So I, I found some of the information from this DTX Alliance and others. And then there are out there hundreds uh product already and then and then many already approved by the fda and then i found that uh who might be the like interesting in the the own ip in this field and then and then so uh particularly for as a pattern actually that the, if you look at the like a pattern you have a claim claim is a bigger boundary that the the that define your your IP. Uh, so uh, I'm interested in that because you see that most of the these DTX is a software, and then they are uh, deliver some treatment. So it's kind of a software drop, right? So 
there is uh, some mechanism to delivering this kind of like a sort of mechanism, how they function, right? So I'm interested in whether it can be can be protected, right? So this field will be very interesting, right? Because for example, the drugs, right? Like a uh, blockbuster drugs, they have a uh, they have a uh, they protect by the the their own patents. That you know that the, the during the like a patent exists, the they they can keep the like a premium price, but after the the patent expire, there is a generic drugs is uh, show up, and then the price down, right? So 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 how actually the that case this is usually that they can think of they they can protect their like uh, some chemical composition of the drugs or the some of the effect or whatever. So I, I was interested in, in a digital, digital way to deliver this uh, sort of intervention that how can you product, especially for the mechanism of this kind of the functions, right? So uh, for example, that uh, uh, I will show you later about the, this uh, one kind of like Endeavor Rx is actually is one of the like pioneer in this field. They're using this one as uh, using the like, a, the children's with uh, ADHD, the, there's attentional like a, uh, like a deficiencies in 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 children, and then they develop game, and then and then and then through this kind of the the performance of the game actually that it can be treat you know, like a uh, this kind of like a problem they call like a development problem, but usually this is just game. So if you look at I will show you later, but if you look at this game, it's very simple game. Right, because you navigate through some some direction, and then you you target something, and then and then also like you avoid some obstacle or something like that. So by way of like just like this game content, you cannot be patentable, right? Because it's well known, very simple, right? So so the way actually that you you do in this kind of situation is just 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 do not claim a specific details for the game contents, or whatever they just. They just uh, like a uh, uh, claim of the fundamental mechanism, right? Because uh, it fundamental mechanism how you can have uh, like uh, improve your deficiency of this this attention through this this task interaction avoidance how they relate to some specific treatment. So and then utilizing like uh, independent claims to 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 come up with uh, like a uh, more specific details. So I I I. I, I made my mapping is very difficult to see. So, uh, but this is one actually that you can see very detailed, but I will show you later if you want. So another thing that uh, the patterns that I, I look at was, uh, I would have told you that the peer server is was a bankrupt. And then usually the pattern value, usually I, I, I work with the other high tech uh, startup. They are interesting in, in first they're interesting in the fighter pattern the for for the you know, fundraising purpose because the investor sometimes requires so whether it's protected with the patent right so usually i have a lot of the cases with my client to to file a patent for for the fundraising purpose and the other is that because until you get a patent actually that has a hidden value this is called why they call intangible value then you you know that the fortune 500 like the s&p 500 is a ninety percent like a is a, is their asset is a intangible, and then and then in value wise about the forty percent of the, this intangible asset is is value in the included in the patent. But you cannot record until you're in, in when you are in your business is alive. But what happened is that when you bankrupt and then and then it suddenly come up that the patent has a show their value. I've seen many cases high tech, for example, a lot of the high big companies, uh, like uh, they just set out their 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 business, for example, like a Motorola and Notel bankrupt, and then recently LG Electronics set out their mobile telephone, and then what happened was that on only left out and the more valuable asset than physical value was uh, patents. This is the same situation in DTX. So. Uh, this sell out their uh, six million dollars for this IP sale, so acquired by the other other company. So hidden value of the patent is very important, and then also like uh, uh IP issue in the partnership 
usually the pharmaceutical. This is one thing I found that I, I found the, like uh, around a dozen patent actually the common ownership between startup and pharmaceuticals. And then the problem is that this common ownership of the patent has some some risk. For example, in, in the United States, uh, each joint owner to use sell or license the, the patent without needing consent from other other parties. So this is very, very subtle area. So you need to think of, uh, because I, I found that uh, these companies has, uh, I, I found a dozen companies that own the joint ownership. But I, if involving the in the in the early stage of this, this kind of collaboration as a, a patent strategy or expert, and I I provide a more better way to, to collaboration even have this IP. So uh, this is what I I found then, and this is one a very um I I want to end this uh the the first part by showing that this is the uh, um DCX is co-founder of the C of the Achilles cell so like a. This this will be is a game changer in the future, right? I'm not sure when, but who knows, right? And then and then this this is the one will give you the different way to interact with a patient and doctors and healthcare providers and insurance companies. So this is one thing that you can think of. But for example, you're yeah, from the high tech industry, and this is uh, like me. Then this is attractive area you can you can explore that based on your experience and. And then bring in your experience, this new field, and then find out to way to like uh, to participate in this kind of the fantastic future. <laughs> this is one actually that I want to do, sir. And so part of two is uh, uh based on my pattern research, I I try to find out uh, as many any insight that can, can be valuable to this this uh community. So um, this is one I'm targeting that uh with my uh, other colleagues, actually, the, they are all my family members. So one of the motivation I I tried to, to let me in this field is I I, I live in Boston for the, for twenty years, but my usually my field involved in high tech area. So even if the Boston is very very good place for this healthcare, but uh, unfortunately I have never involved in this area so locally. But I I found that this uh that I I want to do more the. Uh, involved in the local in the local in the Boston. So I decided that I, I want to come to this this area. And then and then you see that my family members are all are working in the Hask area. So for example, this is my daughter. My daughter is working in Novatis as a as a data scientist for the pharmaceutical like a development. And then and then my son in law working in the in the like work in in the MIT and working the like some startup about the you know, cancer and so who are my members so I, I want to be uh be a, like a more uh like involved in the local area so I, I decided to based on my research I I, I want to publish your book so uh, my my uh, motivation and, and this is a very early stage and then I I found that there, there are not many available books for use as a reference. And then usually then uh, I found that it's good opportunity because I, I look at the older pattern and then specific detail about how actually they can implement, how actually the behind the scene, what is the technology, what is the innovation. So I, I look at it first, I study the like uh, accumulated data set and then I analyze it. And then I, I, I produce like several sounds of the old uh, like information in, in a like uh, in a summary and then after that, rectify them. So this is uh, one of the first draft I, I found that the all sectors of the conditions and the different uh, approach that I, I have uh, like a, more than 200 pages manuscript now better. And then I have, I think about maybe sometime within this, maybe in the half, uh, maybe or pure or maybe, Two or three months later, maybe I, I have a publication of this. I'm still working on it. So uh, uh based on that, I, I tried to find out the, what kind of insight I can have this information. First one, I, I was interested in that there are out there that are already in the in the market. So uh, FDA approved like product, CRISPR is one of the, like a uh, PTSD asset is like a like a drug addiction stuff. Uh, sleeper is like a uh, like having for your your the sleep. So there are many many 
this kind of like a product available. Now I want to uh, in, interest in how they actually, the pattern can protect this like uh, distal treatment. And so like, I'm interested in that, what is the behind scene of this supporting innovation for this kind of the product available in the market. So I, I made a, I draft a pattern. So you can find this all, all this, my article in my LinkedIn uh, profile. And then I'm I'm thinking about to, to make more make progress this this approach to publish in some journal papers in some time later, and then the other approach that uh this is one thing that I I more this is one example that I, what I did right for example that the, I summarized all kind of what is the like for example Tali by Tali is uh, ADHD or the uh, autism like uh, they call like a developed disorder treatment, digital treatment, and then and then I, I I wanna how actually they can they can support it by what kind of innovation support this product and then what they can protect it. So so this is one example they provide a game. So uh, this image I created is using using the general AI uh, like image development tool. So this one can can make you understand your pattern and then you can you can understand more default level if, even if they didn't disclose. Like I, I never seen the tal actually disclose this one. Maybe unless you have a subscribe there, there. But this is a subscription DTX. Unless you are the you are the patient of the your doctor, then you cannot you cannot like understand. You can experience this one. But but anyway, using utilize this one, I can provide. So this one maybe if you are interested in developing a similar product and i can give you some reference like uh, look at the how you uh, their innovation involve what kind of the the component can can be integrated what kind of thing you can utilize so this is one example that i try to do um and i i'm interested in some particular technology for example really ai what, what's ai for dtx innovation and I summarize uh, all of the, my information. I look at the the how they actually they're utilizing AI, and I I I, I provide like some insight how AI for example Alzheimer's disease how AI can can contribute like early detection and uh, continuous monitoring and timely intervention. So I I I try to do each field a how AI can contribute. Then you can think about the lot of the AI function then. And then if you are the uh, like uh, from the AI area, you know about the, what kind of machine learning available and what, what is deep learning or the large language model, then utilizing that one and I can think of how, oh, okay, so I can I can want to make more like uh, actresses, more more like uh, some some way to actually the, to more higher level, higher level of the actress or more higher efficiency of this this area. You can think about that's this one I approach. So I want to, Give the insight that what kind of require, what kind of thing can provide AI can, and then what kind of thing that actually we can do later, right? So this is one also share in my LinkedIn profile, and then I, I'm also interested in I, I intensely work in Excel metaverse type, for example the the like Mark Zuckerberg talk about few years ago about uh, metaverse for the consumer market, but it's what we're dead now. And then and then and then now I found that the particular specific area still this this emerging technology is going on. I found one is industry metaverse, the other is Hask. So I, I found that the 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 this kind of metaverse is kind of like a immersive or personalized effective treatment re, is required. And then and then this kind of like XR based metaverse can can provide like this kind of thing. All kind of this particular immersive media can contribute a lot, especially I found the mental health care is a great contribution by this immersive experience. So, and I, I found that this is particularly interesting that this is uh, like a, a, a immersive, a sensory immersive bath. So, this is one startup actually that is developing this one. So, you lie down and you have like a head mount device. And then here is a sensing your sensors and also like a, they provide some sensing experience like tactile sound and visionary all kind of the human experience can provide and then and then and they can be utilized on your stress reduction or the mood or enhance and coordinate information you can have 
and then and then this is one I, I this is also I generate from based on the pattern information that what kind of thing actually they can improve your sensory experience to treat some specific uh, like uh, provide a relax to restore and mediators transform or something like that. So this is one thing that uh, you can get an idea that okay, so I'm I'm, I'm working in in like a, this kind of like a, a immersive experience in game for a long time, and then I I can think about okay, so I can give you a better sensory experience. I like uh, integrate with this kind of healthcare like uh, proposal, right? So this is one thing that I I wanna provide this some how you can to like bring your experience in other field of game or the other metaverse XR and then how it can be contribute this area. And then and then so I, I try to find out that whether we can we can use this information like insight about the, the innovation and then whether we can bring this uh, like to the new product development. So so this is one actually the ultimate is one case that I, I think about all kind of available uh, innovation that I I got from my pattern analysis, and then I come up with the idea that how what happens in the future that your smartphone can monitor your everyday your activities, possibly, and then and then you can give you some early detection and the intervention of the Alzheimer because Alzheimer is a very serious the social problem your family matters so uh it'll be fantastic that the, your smartphone detect the like a uh, some some symptom of all the symptom of you know, like uh, some potential possibility of the you will be you will be in a, in a like I sorry mind that you give it some some directions and connect with your healthcare provider or some preventive way to that so this is one idea then how you can integrate because I I will, I, I have all the like uh, detailed component of the what kind of thing can be utilizing for this kind of the product so. This is the idea that you can integrate all things that I learned from this innovation inside to, to, to develop a new product. And this is the same thing, the mental health problem. I found, I found that recently I tried uh, Apple Pro, ProVision and then and then Vision Pro can, is a good price for the mental health care problem. And then so that actually that you can you can immerse your side and then you provide like some personalized like a virtual therapy through the mental health problem usually the in the mental health problem interaction with your like a therapist or doctor is very important and then it's very difficult to, to have this personal like interaction and then this is a good opportunity utilizing this kind of new new type of the like immersive device XR device is uh, it's kind of like you can come away okay finally I just summarized that uh this is one actually the and not just for the like uh uh that I talk about, but is generally that I, I think about the first think about the first thing is that you should be adopted by doctor or the insurance. You should be well known because you should be the delivery uh, like your your service, and then there will be no like uh, the barrier from the adopting from the these doctors. Then the best way is the well known treatment, is the well known or uh, where the standard of care that for example the CBT the quality of behavioral therapy is well well adopted in the mental health care. And then you can think about digital version of this one. It's kind of like a revolutionary. Uh, and then and then and then so then then think about it that go beyond then then and then whether on thinkable like on it's not well known in like well developed where is adopted by standard of care but is uh proved way through like a very intensive like way to prove but anyway it's very disruptive and then you can you can have a more powerful impact to the new industry so is a matter of a choice whether you choose a, like a evolutionary or you can choose like a more disruptive sort of innovation or something like that and then and then so you can think about whether it's kind of complementary so you can think about for example some you want to participate with the, like collaborate with the pharmaceutical then you can you can specific target of the drug the treatment and then it's a complementary so it can support or it can be treated just to replace it right so for example that the one one other thing that you can think about is like uh, as i mentioned before the patent expired drugs like uh, is can, they can be kept there like a uh, uh, high high premium price by 
by supporting by this kind of new way of the integrating this drug with with this gster way to deliver the treatment right so so this is one thing and then you can think of an integration diagnosis for all the intervention and then and then b to c model that are uh, willing to pay out of pocket for the consumer you can think about so so this is what i i, I was thinking about that the based on my uh database that i i how actually that i can give a more valuable like uh, the resources to these community members based on my pattern analysis that that to bring to into my book and my papers to 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 provide more value to based on this kind of all kind of situation is that I considering. Okay, uh, that's it. Okay, so I uh, I will show you that if you are curious about what is what is mean by the this kind of like a digital therapeutics game, and then if you see that this one, okay, so what is the best way? <laughs> oh. Okay, so you see that uh this is a uh this is a alkali is uh is for the the children with ADHD. It's just game. So uh, for example that. This is my spot one. So if demo, then it's just game. Step into the simulator to learn the controls. Yes, this is just so. This is just game, right? So, and then you will follow this some task, and then you will see the target and the obstacle. Okay, so. It's kind of like a, a just target it, right? In the DRC, it, 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 it'll be explored through this path and then you will find the obstacle or something like that. So this is very simple game, right? The behind the scene is that it, it rooted in the, like a scientific discovery in the neurological science, scientific discovery to, to improve your, your way to like uh, improve your deficiencies or other like cognitive functions or something like that. So. So um that's it. And then um if you have any question, just let me know. Alex, I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. First of all, thank you for a, a wonderful presentation. As always, you're it's funny because you come from the outside, but you you do a really good job of of capturing the whole picture. Um, that was a fascinating presentation. Um, I'm working with a company in Korea called DOT, D-O-T, mm -hmm. and they have a, a, a pad that looks like an iPad, and the dots come up on the pad, and it's for blind people to be able to have access to visual visual experience through their fingers. So they mm -hmm. call it haptic visualization. Mm -hmm. um, it's programmable, so a therapist can can use software to drive the different interactions that the blind individual has with the dot pad. In your opinion, uh, at what point uh, does a multimodal, you know, type of a device that has a digital element but is not necessarily completely visually driven, but it is software driven, it is contained within what you would consider traditional digital device format? But where other senses are engaged, say haptic, you know, touch and so on, would you still consider that a digital uh, a DTX, or does that start to migrate into some other form of of uh, therapeutic? Oh, um, whether you using utilizing 
different types of sensory mechanisms, like it's touch or whatever. It's, it's nothing to do is uh, like uh, whether it's a DTX or not, right? DTX is uh, how actually deliver, right? Your purpose, right? So for example, that there is for the blind people, but for just, just having for blind people experience, something is not DTX. But particularly for the blind people, they have some has condition because of the their their like a uh, situation as a blind people. I I don't know because I that's a healthcare area. You find that, right? And then you find that the way to way to digital way. For example, you have like a touch, what the sound, whatever, right? Is a uh, you cannot you cannot use uh, like a sensory like visual sensory, right? Yeah. Otherwise, you can other other sensory like a uh, hear voice is a hearing, or so voice related hearing or the touch or other right, and then and then yeah and then way to actually the, you found that this is the way to whether it's a kind of the game or the other type, and then through this like experience with these people, they can have a like a, some improvement of their condition. This is a DTX right, so so. So the fundamentally that I found that there is a tools or whatever that is a, is a, for the different purpose, right? For example, that you have a smartphone app to like a, a counting you like a, how many how many times you jump or what, how many times you work or whatever. And then it, it led to like a, some like a statistics analytics to, to provide like what is you like a, whether you have a diabetic uh, risk or not. Until that time, Actually, this is not DTX, but you find a specific person has some 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 problem because of the day have less exercise, right? Then and then you target it, and then you way to deliver the tools mechanism that actually that you you can you can overcome or you can like improve the situation is a DTX, right? So 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 that's why the DTX is required of the directly like related to your outcome. Like you should be directly, like have a direct effect to your health condition, right? So that's why that they should be approved by FDA. They concern about if it directly related to your health, they should be regulated. Thank you. Any question? Anyway, so um, I'm going to share this presentation and I'm going to share this recording. And then I welcome whoever that, uh, if you are in, in other uh, other field, they want interested in, particularly I'm interested in this kind of topic. Who knows that in the future, that whether it is for you, like for example, this Apple Vision Pro type app, or it's kind of for the app for your smartphone, kind of like, you have uh, like uh, you can is is FDA approved, but is uh, it FDA approved but app? You can, you can download it or subscribe, and then and then and then they'll they'll need a lot of the like high expertise in the, like how actually to provide this high quality content, right? So this is particularly as I experience in other field that I can I can have my business idea that I I wanna be involved, right? So you can come up with the idea that. Uh, then this market will grow very, very, very rapidly, and then very, it's not anymore like a niche market, right? Because uh, so only matter that actually there is a niche is that it's not the the value of this application or the value of this kind of like uh, the result, but the, actually the it, it required FDA approval and the think by is kind of like a drug, and then think by is very, very, very complicated think of but you can think about. That this regulation is 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 just a traditional way of the regulation is very think about is very hard and very time consuming or something like that. In the future, who knows this process process will be changes. For example, people ask to require more and more this kind of application and approve by the FDA. For example, that there are there are a lot of the on pres on prescribed drugs you can buy in the CVS or you can you can you can have on on prescribed like this kind of digital therapeutics app in available in the app store and you wanna you wanna explore by some some reason like you have a migrate 
Do you have a headache or whatever that that you have a well known and prove it and then you can you can buy it, you can just uh, subscribe some in the future, then it can I, I think of I hope that this market will grow very, very, very high, high, high level of the, the market growth as I, I, I can expect. So that's one actually that I, I'm thinking about that from other side of the fear experience, other industry. And then I think about how actually they can then change this this fear in a somewhat because it's this interface digital and healthcare. So it's a good opportunity. Like me, I have a, a never experience in a life of science, but I can I can be in and then I can contribute through the my my different type of experience. So I, I hope that you will have a sense and then and then you will I I, I welcome any collaboration. Especially, I, I invite a lot of people from the other industry, not in the healthcare or you the healthcare industry. Then you you already know about this. Or what is the like on battle? What is required? And I, I I bring my expertise. I want to collaborate to to make a new things. Okay, so thank you for attending, and then hope to see you that planning next webinar. Well, I'm gonna think about the what is the good topics. I will, as I promise, I will share my uh.